Hi everyone, for today's video I'm going to check out The Dangers in My Heart. The Dangers in My Heart, based on the manga of the same name, written and illustrated by Norio Sakurai, and the story revolves around Kyotaro Ichikawa, who looks like your average middle school kid, but in his heart he dreams of murder. And I do mean murder. <laughs> Hey, yo! That's fucking sus. And hell, he wants to start his murder spree by killing the most popular student in his school, Anna Yamada. However, one day, while reading alone in the school library, he notices that Yamada is also there, secretly gorging on candies and other sweets. And this goes on for several days, but through their interactions, Ichikawa discovers that there's more to her than meets the eye, like how much of a ditz she is, and he can't help but support her from the side lines so that she doesn't get in trouble or fail in other activities. Meanwhile, Yamada can't help but tease Ichikawa relentlessly due to his flustered reactions. And with an array of heartwarming daily interactions, the distant bond between these two grows into something more than just library acquaintances. As throughout the series, they grow closer to each other, and Ichikawa realizes that his murderous desires have turned to something else, maybe even love. And so, with that out of the way, what do I think of this series? Well, yeah, it's pretty good. But I'm not gonna lie, this series does start in a very absurd way, with Ichikawa at first wanting to kill her, but then becomes friends with her, which is one hell of a 180. And not gonna lie, it's a good thing this series doesn't take place in America, cause he's giving out school shooter vibes. But throughout the series, they do play with the whole will they won't they routine, as most romance anime series do, and in most cases it is overplayed, but in here it does make sense as they're starting to get to know each other, finding out their interests and whatnot. I also enjoyed the characters like Ichikawa, who begins as a bitter social outcast with murder fantasies. And yeah, he's antisocial as fuck when he interacts with other students, or just people in general. But as the series progresses, he grows out of his hatred of people as he interacts with Yamada, and forms a friendship with her as he sees her more quirky than what he originally thought she was like. He even becomes more protective over her. And there's Yamada. Despite her appearance, Yamada is a kind, sweet, and very considerate girl, as she isolates herself to eat snacks that are allergic to her friend, Chi. And her outgoing personality goes well with Ichikawa's introverted and self-doubting personality, giving them great chemistry with each other and their relationship as wholesome. Not to mention, she is a catalyst for positive change for Ichikawa, as she helps him form a meaningful friendship and to be more outgoing. As for the supporting characters, the ones that stood out for me the most are Yamada's friend Chi, who is her best friend. Anders <laughs> Ichikawa's sister, Kana, who is just the best. So overall, I enjoyed the series very much, and I highly recommend the series. And it's pretty satisfying seeing the bond between these two grow as the series progress. And I gotta admit, my boy's having a better time at middle school than I did at his age. Oh yeah, and there's also a season 2 that is currently airing. And yeah, in case you're wondering, I will check it out when the season finishes, so don't worry about that. And that was the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos just like this. And don't forget to support me on Coffee, where you can support me for just a dollar, and you get to have your names in the credits. So yeah, I just want to mention it there. Have a great day, everyone. Stay safe. Goodbye.